Um, the, one of the reasons I was using the bagpipes early on because you can tell sometimes the age of tunes by the fact that the tune which has a compass of nine notes quite often was a tune written for the half longs and therefore you get an idea of how old it is because those pipes date back a long time and with the small pipes generally that had a compass of eight notes you could say that was an early tune but we know from the history of the small pipes they start developing keys about 1804 so until then you can say well it, it might have been a small pipe tune or a half long tune after 1804 they began to have tunes that could be used by fiddle players or pipers. And so in probing into these, and the people who played them, you can work out where they got their material from. And a lot of pipers were quite meticulous about writing their, their tunes down. And uh, the way that we've researched this, we've been able to look at a lot of old manuscript books. In the same way, we've been able to look at a lot of uh, documented songs <coughs> and moving towards the documentation of songs um, initially two problems with documented songs if nobody can read it's not much good is it but a lot of the songs were passed down in the oral traditions report from families to other families or groups within the family um, the collections prior to 1800 a lot of them have very trivial material that certainly wasn't uh, uh, the sort of thing that you might expect the working classes to enjoy. Beauty as Phoebe came in an awful lot and that sort of thing. Yes. And uh, the stories weren't exactly full of uh, excitement apart from a few murder ballads. Uh, after 1800, the development, first of all, of reading and second, of the use of quite cheap forms of disseminating the songs called broadsheets, or if there's a few tucked together chapbooks, meant that people, if they heard a song and they wanted to learn it and they couldn't get it from the oral tradition, they would make go and buy a broadsheet, particularly at an event where the song would be sung, like a fair, a hiring, that sort of occasion, payday. Um, and somebody would go around selling them. And so there was a, a merchandise flow. And some of the early collections that we'll look at, we have in libraries as books, but quite often, before the book was printed, there was a broadsheet, another broadsheet, and then the printer thought, I'll try and see if I can flog this to the middle classes and get more money. So you got this, these two different sources. And this one, that I'm going to sing now is called The Collier's Rant and it came out uh, in 1880 in a book called The Bishop of Garland which was a posh book. <coughs> the author who, who was putting this together, Ritson, he was also interested in the music of, of the, the working classes. So it contains a few frilly songs but mostly what we would now call folk songs in our categories. And this is called the Collier's Rant. It's one of the earliest the mining songs. And it's basically mentioning the idea that if you go down, you might meet with a devil. And the pitman like to turn up one button and say, I we did, we're not going to good helping. <laughs> um, and I'm also using the devil's instrument, as they call it, the trump, or the Jew's harp, or the gilgo. And your chorus says, follow the horses, Johnny me laddie, follow the horses, Johnny me Follow the horses, Johnny B. Laddy, how lad lie away me canny lad o, which means get your finger up, get the job done. <coughs> and uh, if you think you're puzzled about horses, a lot of early mining used horses before steam to go round and round and wind rope drums around, raise and lower, coal and men. And I certainly knew about a horse that dug me when it stood on my foot because it was bigger than me. I used to work down in a pit. So all pet po ponies aren't little. And if they're big, you've got to do what you see. Here we go. There's a 
million mean man who's gone into war. We we'll met with the devil, it wasn't a dog. Our up will be picking, it wasn't a neat. And I chopped off his seed, likewise his club feet. Follow the hopes of Johnny B. Laddie. Follow the hopes of Johnny B. Laddie. Follow the hopes of Johnny B. Laddie. How will I lie away, be canny lad, oh. As me and me marrow was loading the tram, the light went out me marrow went round. He would have laughed to see the fine gown. Old Nick took me marrow, but I took the tram. Follow the horns of Johnny B. Laddie. Follow the horns of Johnny B. Laddie. Follow the horns of Johnny B. Laddie. How will I lie away, be canny lad, oh. Oh, man, oh, man, where have you been? Driving a drift through the lay seam. Driving a drift through the lay seam. How up the late man, a deal so good you have been. Follow the horses, Johnny B. Laddie. Follow the horses, Johnny Laddie. Follow the horses, Johnny B. Laddie. How will I lie away, be Johnny Laddie? Oh, more, man, oh, man, this is war pay week. We'll get penny loaves and drink them up, beat. We'll hold the bumper and run it and go. So follow the horses. Johnny Lad, follow the horse, Johnny me Laddie, follow the horse, Johnny Lad, follow the horse, Johnny me Laddie, 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 and it's follow the horse, Johnny me laddie. Follow the horse, Johnny laddie. Follow the horse, Johnny me laddie. I'm on my way, baby.